So let's begin make this simple cat or dog bolt. Okay, so I'm gonna select all of this, delete, or you can just press A. Sorry, because I don't have a screen cast key, so you can know what I'm typing, what I'm clicking. I'm hoping to get a uh, those new screen casts. Latest version. Let's support this blender. 3.10 and enough, enough talk let's begin press one shift a circle zoom it out zoom it in zoom in not zoom out this is zoom out okay by using a scroll key e to the z if you want to be more precise you can turn this on but i'm not going to use that any now right scale turn this on so you can see what's inside e to the z uh, K F to fill and then let's stop again. There we go. Select this one, the edge, K control B. Make it a little bit smoother. Just like that, very simple. Select this one, control B. Three would do. For this one. Mm, control, oh, control B. Did I just make this thing a little bit harder? I think so. If it's because of this one. Okay, so yeah, not need to think too much about that. Then, if you want, you can use the subdivision surface to make it even super smooth, okay? But I'm not going to use that now. I'm just going to shade smooth it. Very simple as that, okay? If you want, you can increase the solid the thickness on it by using solid fun. So the shading now, we're done with the shape now. Now we're gonna paint it. Not we're gonna paint, we're just gonna add the material. If I said paint, I'm gonna use my Wacom here, but I'm not gonna turn it on today. Base color, uh red, pink. Yeah, common color is red. I'm gonna use a little bit of pink here now. And that's the color we got. Oh, let's adjust this one. The specular and the roughness. Okay. Increase the specular. If you want it a little bit more shiny, decrease the specular if you don't want any of it. Okay. We increase that. If you want to be more shiny, decrease the roughness to zero. If you don't want it, just increase it to one. It's kind of the same like specular, but it's actually not the same. Just a little bit there. That would do. It's not metal anyway. So now the last part. Instead of having this looking boring, just flat color, let's add some bump to it. I mean a texture bump. Normal. Yeah. Shift A to add a vector bump. Okay. Connect the normal to the normal. And now, Shift A to add a uh, texture. Whatever you want. I'm going to use the noise texture for now. If you want, you can mix other texture as well. Completely up to you. Alright. Just like that. Increase the scale to whatever the detail. Up to there. For this, adjust all of this. Depends on who you're liking. Until you got something that maybe you interest. Okay. Roughness. Just like that, I'm gonna decrease the strength now because you don't want to look it like that. But rock is cement shape. Okay. Uh, decrease that. Okay, zoom it up, zoom it in. Increase like I think 58 is still too high. 42. I a 42 looks good. Looks good. Or you can just go uh, 0 0.040. 0. Make it more precise if you want. Okay. So that's all. Okay. That's how you make a simple uh, cat or dog ball. No need to think too much. Just, well, go simple. All right. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. All right. Bye bye.